We're back with our fifth mode in our altered pentatonic uh, scale. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of how I came up with this, was I was playing a, a minor scale, which if you're playing G major pentatonic starting on the E, you'd be playing the minor version, E minor, which is G major. And I was playing around with this, and I took that, what would be G, and raised it to G sharp. And, and this is where this whole idea came from. Like I said, I'm not the first to do this by a long shot. Um, I've heard other players do it, and I really, really dig the way it sounds. Um, anyway, without further ado, uh, we're going to play 12 to 16 on the low E string, which is our E to G sharp. Then we're going to play 12 to 14 on the A string, A to B. Then we're going to play 12 to 14 on the D string, which is uh, D, D, E. So it the first octave is pretty much just your basic pentatonic box that we all learn, you know, in the fifth position or whatever, but with the pinky stretched one fret. Okay? Okay, after that, we're going to play G sharp to A, which is 13 and 14. And, and again, here goes that crazy coolness. All right? Then we're going to go back to B on the D on the B string, cheese on the B string, uh, 12 to 15, kind of just like you know old school. So this this little section G string is that little little jump. And then back to our old school standard, 12 to 15. A lot of cool ideas just right there. Um, and then we're gonna finish 12 to 16 E to G sharp, just like we did um, on the big string. All right. So our box looks like this. Okay, we can translate that, of course, down to the uh, open string and do the octave two, which would be uh, zero to four. E to G sharp. Zero to two, A to B. Zero to two, D to E. One to two, G sharp to A. Zero to three, uh, B to D. And zero to four, E to G sharp. And that would be... All right, there you have it. There's a, a new way to look at a pentatonic scale that might, if you haven't ever done that, add some really cool flavor. I think I mentioned before, you know, you can play your blue notes and whatnot and mix it up. If you're playing, we're in E minor, so I'm going to kind of, G major, E minor, I'm going to kind of play around real quick with this. Um, I'm jamming along, you know. easy to jump into it and, and make the transition and the interesting sound and of course against a chord change you'd like to hit it in the right spot it's not going to work over every chord the way you want it to i would recommend you uh lay down a basic progression and uh see where this really really works use like your your uh, digitech trio or backing guitar or anything else and uh really get a, a grip on on how this works you know it's very cool once you can use it so, thanks for watching. That's a new idea for you to experiment with for sure. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I've got a lot more videos to do. Um, permutations, more scales, etc. Keep watching. Uh, subscribe if you'd like. I'd appreciate it. Uh, share these all over the place. Um, I know I'm not great with some of the names on these scales, but I think early on I said just knowing them, the patterns, physically, is going to help you you know, stretch out. You don't need to know the name necessarily to play it. So it doesn't hurt, but, uh, you know, not entirely necessary. Again, enjoy and thanks for watching.